Hello first grade, welcome to art class. I have an assignment for you guys to do at home while you're quarantining, but first let's say our art class prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. To our Father we pray, keep us creative and curious for all of our days, amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Okay, and you guys might be wondering why I'm so shiny today. It is color day here during Catholic Schools Week and the special teachers have dressed up in silver and gold. So I look sort of like a giant disco ball today. It's a lot of fun to see everybody in their colors. I wish you guys were here to participate, but I am so, so glad that you are at home being safe because that is the absolute most important thing. And we will hopefully see you guys back here next week. But in the meantime, while you're at home, we have an art activity to do that is all about texture. T-E-X, tex, T-U-R-E, sure, texture. And texture is the way something feels. So you probably recognize these forms. I know a lot of you guys seem to be fans of the game Among Us, which I don't play at all. I don't even really know what it's about, but the little characters are pretty cute, I think. So we're gonna do our own spin on them. And instead of being just a single color and smooth, we are going to give them texture. So the first texture I'm gonna show you how to create is this one, fur. So if I touch it, it feels smooth, but we're trying to create the look of fur, which is what we do in art. It's not always gonna, I'm not gonna put actual fur on this, but the way that I draw it is gonna make it look like it has fur. The second texture is slime. So this guy looks like he just stepped out of a bucket of slime and it's all dripping and oozing off of him. And the third texture is pointy. Pointy and sharp, like this thing is covered in thorns. So um, I will teach you how to do each one of these. This one, we do with just little marks with our crayon, and this is just crayon on printer paper. So hopefully you have those things at home. For the slime, we have to make it look like it's oozing off in droplets. So we have to use a round drooping shape. And then to make something pointy and covered in thorns, we're gonna use triangles and zigzag lines. So I'm gonna flip the camera to table mode and I'm gonna show you how to follow along. I hope you have fun. Okay guys, so the only thing that you're going to need for this activity is simple white printer paper and crayons. So hopefully you all have crayons at home and some plain printer paper. So first we have to draw the outline of our Among Us character. And I know a lot of you guys already know how to do this because I see you doing it. Um, but let's start with, we're gonna leave some room at the top here for the top of the head but we're gonna start with a sort of rounded rectangle for the sort of eyes part, just like that. And then we are going to draw up and make sort of a, another rounded rectangle, but bring it down and at the bottom, we're gonna do two chunky legs. So we'll just go up, down, and then you want this part to match up with this part. So you can draw, pretend you're drawing through here, but don't actually draw it. Pick up your line here and draw down. And then we need the sort of backpack thing on its back. And there you have a basic Among Us character. So that's pretty fun to draw. But now this is the part where we do something different than what they do in the video game. This is the part where we add our texture. So for the first one, let's just make this one furry, okay? So like your cat or your dog, if you have pets at home, guinea pigs, hamsters, all of these things are covered in fur. And I think I wanna do some cold colors, just some blues and purples. 
for this guy. So the way that we're gonna make this look like it's covered in fur is we're just gonna make little lines like this, furry lines, and we can make some come off the sides of it. This little fur is sticking up. It can come down over the eye, whatever you wanna call it. I don't play this game, so I don't really know. I assume this is the eyes. You guys know better than me. But we're not gonna cover the eye part with fur because this little guy needs to see out of there. And we're not gonna cover the backpack with fur. We're just gonna cover this body with fur. So you're just going to use a bunch of lines, little lines like this. And it just takes time to cover the whole thing. So I'm gonna speed this up and my video is gonna go fast. So just so you know, in a minute, my hand's gonna start moving pretty fast. I'm not that fast, it's just a sped up video. But we'll put some music on and you guys can join in. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. It's hard work, isn't it? Nobody ever said art was easy. You gotta use those arm muscles. Keep putting that fur on. Let's do the slimy one. Slimy, gloopy, slimy, like it just came out of a swamp. It's covered in goop. So we're gonna start the same way we did before with a black crayon. Let's do the eye part. Round rectangle. the body. Leave some room over here for that backpack. Two chunky legs. And the backpack. Okay, so to make this guy look slimy, and I'm going to use green again. Or maybe I'll do blue and green this time. And this one I used yellow and green. This one I'm gonna use blue and green. And I'm gonna use my dark green to make the outlines of all the gloopy, sloopy, slimy droplets. So I'll start at the top and you just wanna make a shape like that. So you wanna make it round at the bottom and then bring it back up like it's dripping and then you can make it look like there are ones in the middle too just by adding pieces like that and you work your way down it's just oozing dripping with slime So you want to use wavy lines and make it round on the bottom. Slime can come off the sides a little bit too. So 
I don't know what this Among Us character got into, but he's covered in slime. So I'm gonna speed this up again to show you how I color it in. And I know this can be hard work, your hands get tired, but it's worth it in the end because it's gonna look really cool. So I'm gonna speed it up. Let's get to coloring. You know what? I like the way this one turned out better than the way this one is going. So for the rest of my little gloop, droop, droopies of slime, I'm gonna show you how I colored in this one, which is with dark green down at the bottom and then light green up at the top. I think that gives it a really good slimy look. So let me show you how to do that. No offense to you, don't waste your time. Here's why. Okay, so there's our slimy guy done. And so now we've got furry, we've got slimy. The next one we're gonna do is spiky. So it's not gonna be covered in fur and it's not gonna be covered in slime. It's gonna be covered in sharp spikes. So, clean piece of paper, a black crayon. <laughs> going to make the end of the spikes black. So we're going to color in the end of the spikes black. And then I'm going to use orange and red. Because something about the hot colors just sort of says spiky to me. So I'll use a little bit of red little bit of orange coming in. So you really only want your black at the tip of your spike. Find a spike and just color the tip black and then come in with your red and your dark orange, your red orange. 
and your yellow orange. And you got a pretty cool looking spike. Looks like something you don't want to touch. So I'm going to speed this up again and you can watch me coloring this in and follow along at home. You know what happiness is to you Okay, so my guy kind of looks like he's on fire because of the colors that I chose, but he's also very pointy. Like it would hurt to touch him because he's covered in points. So these are our three textures that we did and you can come up with your own too. Furry, slimy, and pointy. And my hand does hurt takes a while to color this in and it does make for a sore hand so take breaks whenever you need to 
but I am excited to see what you create. See you later, guys.